Okay, yeah, my beautiful people. Uh, today we'll be doing something different. We'll be focusing on our photography, uh, which is something that we are doing and we are specializing in. So I just wanted to show how easy it is uh, if you've got the right equipment to do your photography. So basically, I'll be showing you background, foreground, and subject. So let me just quickly jump onto it. Uh, here, I'll be using my R50. Uh, these R50s to put uh, this trigger, you have to connect the extension because this adapter is the one that helps you. Uh, these uh, cameras, they come with a different hot shoe uh, that is different from the rest of the cameras. So you have to put this and then you add your, you put the adapter and then you can add your the trigger. So this is connected to my speed light. So to take these photos, uh, I just need to connect. I've got my speed light, uh, which is uh, actually a soft uh, soft light from Godox. It's a MS300 from Godox. So I'm using, I'll be using that today with the R50 and the X2T trigger. So this is what I'll be doing. Uh, I'll just use this battery here. I'll just use this to rechargeable for my speed light. I'll use it as my subject. I'll use this pair as my foreground. And then again, I'll use this PC as my background. So I'll expose for different things. I'll expose for my subject. I'll expose for my foreground and then expose for the background. So this is what I want you to experience, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me turn on my speed, my soft light. Okay. And then let's start. I'll start with this on its own. Just take one picture and then I'll show you how it comes out. Uh, you can see how, how close you can do these pictures with this camera. So, uh, I have to direct my light towards my subject. Then I'll take my picture. This is my first picture. The exposure is quite nice. Uh, it's very nice. It's clear. You can see. Okay. Then I'll introduce my screen of the computer so just introduce it uh, as a background okay uh, let me do it this way you can see it's very crispy at the background it's a nice crisp background and then i'll also uh, now take it a little bit back so that i'll expose nicely and then i'll use this as my foreground okay i'll have to balance this so that this pair can stand okay let me show you now uh, i've got my foreground i've got my background and i'm exposing for now i'm exposing my subject okay exposing for my subject then let me expose for my background with the subjects and back and foreground. Okay, then now uh, let me expose for my so I've taken these pictures and then uh, you can see the difference. So that is how we separate the background, the foreground and our subjects. That's the way we do it when we do the separation. So, and you can even see if the subject is on its own, the difference, it comes nicely with the background and the foreground. So it just comes vivid. Then you can realize the difference. 
that is all I wanted to show you. And there is an advantage uh, when you use these uh, cameras here. You can even see when you use the settings, there is a lot of different things that you can do with it. And even the shots, if you do a continuous shots, the difference with this thing, the sound, it's like, it's like you have to dance to it the way it comes out it's, it's so nice so low speed continuous high speed continuous let me do this high speed continuous I'll just do a couple of photos uh, let me do this that is uh, exposure let me experience it. so you can see you can feel it That's how nice it is to use these cameras because you can take many pictures at the same time when you're working with them. By the time another person is taking the first picture, you're, you're already far. So that is all I wanted to, to show you. And I'll be showing you I'll be showing you more of these. Uh, how nice it is to work with these uh, new cameras you don't need to do much you just let the camera do the work yeah so don't forget to subscribe uh, on all my channels uh, on tiktok you can follow us Sinyana productions uh, you can also follow us here on uh, or, or youtube you can just subscribe and you'll get more. We still have uh, RS4 gimbal. We still have uh, another one, uh, the Osmo, that we're also using as we are doing this video. We have a 250 camera, and we've got this R50. We've got a Panasonic. We've got, we've got quite a lot. One day we'll be showing you how to operate the Godox MS300. Yeah, and the rest.